next we will look at uh, what is the what is the nature of this frequency present or the bandwidth of the frequency present in your signal and in certain cases there might be frequency content present over and above the nyquist frequency what is the nyquist frequency it is twice the maximum operating frequency needed for your application is called a nyquist frequency yes if you need to detect if you have the frequency content above nyquist and it needs to be detected then you will typically use a sar or a pipeline adc with an external bandpass filter now if you look at the graph that we had seen earlier where you saw four or five broad ways the first one was sigma delta for uh, industrial precision applications the next one was voice and data where you had sigma delta third was sar adc and the fourth was your pipeline adc like you said near the nyquist content and above the nyquist content you would see it near the external bandpass filter would be needed along with the sar uh, adc yes there is a frequency content above nyquist but it can be ignored then the easiest thing to do is you could use sar pipeline along with that you can use the delta sigma adc at the higher resolutions but you need to use a filter the filter can be uh, within the sigma delta adc it could have a sync filter right where you have uh, the uh, nulls present at uh, appropriate filter equations or filter multiples or frequency multiples or the harmonics as they would call along with that you will need an external anti aliasing filter you need the anti aliasing filter to avoid the signal folding that is coming in because you don't want the high frequency signal getting aliased onto the low frequency signal and forming a dc bias yes uh, if you need to have the high frequency content but you do not have the ability to have an external filter then the method is uh, you cannot use a sar and pipeline because uh, it is not a easy architecture instead you can use an sigma delta adc with an internal fir filter this fir filter can be designed recordings to various taps and the number of taps that you can use to filter it out and you can have a very sharp uh, wall filter or a tapered off filter according to the design and this will allow you to have a uh, sigma delta adc can be used but if you really do not want to have any uh, frequency content or the nyquist frequency content in it then the easiest one like in the previous option you can either use sar pipeline and the delta sigma adc with a sync filter adc and in this particular condition you really do not have do not need an anti aliasing filter because you are totally you don't have any other uh, frequency beyond nyquist uh, 